gonna have to lean. Whatever. I'll make it work, because I typically do. Is this connected to anything, or am I just gonna wear it for my novelty? But that's the point, so. I don't know why, but I find it so hard to say this that it's it won't be hard for me to lead up to it. I'm just going like, ah, ah. Alright. Like, it shouldn't be hard to say, but I don't know. I think it's just because of social stigma and how uh, I'm still trying to retrain and ingrain my brain. Like, fuck it! Do you molest people? No. Do you harm people? No. Do you negatively force your thoughts and opinion on people? No. Do you beat people? What do you mean? Physically? Or do you mean just like in competitive? Tory wise do you physically beat people no nigga we you, you know i don't beat people so it's just like am i doing anything bad no so why is it bad that i live at home with my adopted parents that are my parents i grew up with why is it bad because let me explain it because if you actually sit and listen it's not like i'm saying i live at home and it's not like i don't do anything like i do actually a lot of things here are a list of things that i do as a staying at home trying to build up my finances not doing a good job of that and <laughs> trying to move out but still doesn't seem like it's gonna be a good idea for the fact of their uh physical health and i'm literally i should have done this a little bit early but what i do as a stay-at-home child is i do grocery shopping i fucking hate it i do the financing stuff so i take the old man and uh get him to places that he needs to be when it comes to uh needing to pay for certain things or sometimes for medical things so i guess that's not really financing i'm the shelf hair is what i should have said I am also the cleaner. I am also the family therapist. That's always been that. Like, that's, I'm everybody's therapist, but not a therapist because I'm not a licensed therapist. I just give good advice. I'm good at listening. And sometimes they don't want advice. They just want me to listen because I realize they don't want advice because I'll give good sound logic advice, but it's basically like an unsolicited dick pic. Stop doing unsolicited dick pics. You're making it look bad for this community. Not like this community because if it's a big one, it's like, still knock it off. Unwanted dicks are unwanted dicks. Regardless of how big or small it may look, stop making it looks bad for the whole entire community. So it's just like unsolicited advice is basically the exact same thing. So you like I would want you guys to clear up if you want me to just listen or if you want me to give advice. But at this point, I've learned to just shut the fuck up and listen and just like just listen and listen and listen. Just mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm, OK. And maybe just like throw it back like at you're choosing this instead of just saying, you know what, you could do this, this, that, that. But like, no, this is your choice because there are options. There are. You know, there's options. You've told me there's options. So you're like, essentially, you're just working it out for yourself. But putting the actions through. Are you an actor or a screenwriter? You seem like a screenwriter, aren't you? You, you don't think you're pretty enough to be an actor. You could be. Or an actress. You could be. You just got to put the actions to just stop screenwriting. Make the moves. Like, I screenwrite and act, too. But sometimes I just screenwrite overly and I just don't do it. Like, I am embarrassed, too. Is it because of how the view will be done upon me? Ooh, I wish I had the childhood. <laughs> what the fuck is this embarrassment? Oh, I fucked up. Oh, my pants is not pulled them up. Woo! Indecent exposure, if it don't, does it. Kid, ill just... Pull it up. Don't do that. What the flip happened? If not, wardrobe malfunction, it's all right, too. But if somebody actually intentionally does, somebody's going to jail. Kind of makes sense logically, don't you think? I don't really know who all do. I just try to figure out from interactions, acting, are they or actually being themselves can't tell. I have to see them in multiple interactions to be able to make up a good bio of them. Because I can't just see off of bodies. Don't you know that most not? All which ones do we notice? Do they all have cognitive functioning? Are they connected or disconnected? Or do they just act like it? I don't really know till I know. And am I too late, though? Well, we would have never thought they would have done that. Like, they were so energetic, enthusiastic, very helpful. They were just the top star. And I would have never thought that a winner didn't love to win. I, I didn't think that if they were told no, that they would be so bashful and so freaking snappy and vulgar and just, just intense. They were all up in my face. I could just feel the heat coming off of them and they didn't even touch me, but they were getting really close to it. And the spit was on me. It's just, I just said no. I, I, I just said this, no, no, no. I wasn't, I wasn't doing nothing much. I just said no. And then they were but you don't really know until you know and like i keep saying is it too late or is it early enough to just like how oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> i'm 
in the dryer. All right, fast this bitch. Woo! Touch the bullet. Or sometimes it hits and it's just nowhere critical. So you'd help. Yeah, I live at home with my parents. And I clean. I do the chauffeur. I help the old man do with the financing. I take him to the hospital if he needs to go. I pick him up from the hospital. I also, I guess, more or less play with my siblings. Well, sibling now because Skylar passed and then <clears throat> Avon is she's a oof, down syndrome and a handful and a half I'll tell you what she's a pain in the ass sometimes but like I just think it's more just less of the lacking the teaching and the talking to and it's like I say the talk to not the way she's actually like it's a hot and cold room like I'd say it's more of a war zone than it's not but I always have my headphones on because the house has always been loud. And the funny thing is, you would assume from 11 down to 4, it'd be just as... You'd think it's quieter. Not really, but yes. But no. I still have my headphones on more than not. Sometimes it's because everything just sounds better with the headphones on. And sometimes it's just because I don't want to listen to certain things. I feel as if I help more than I don't help because they're literally limited to the house. Like, I do all, well, I wouldn't say all the driving, but I'd say pretty much 99% of the driving. At one point, I was doing, I'd say, 98% of the driving. I was doing 80% of the driving. I was doing 70% of the driving. At some points, I was doing none of the driving, and that's just driving, and I was just going back in time when people were feeling better, when people were younger, when sicknesses didn't happen, when strokes didn't happen, when life didn't happen, when uh, infidelities didn't happen, when things didn't happen, when time didn't keep moving forward. Like, I always think about wanting to move out, and I always think about wanting to leave state, and I always think about trying to find a better sponsorship, because essentially the only difference between working for a corporation and being an entertainer or being an influencer or being some type of fitness uh, brand ambassador, being some type of sports broadcasting, or just anything that isn't necessarily the nine-to-five job is just sponsorship. Anybody, or if I end up getting into something that gets... Uh, it's viewed off of, I get paid off of views and that's how I make money. That's just literally anybody can be my sponsor. It's just this multi-million dollar corporation decided to uh, just decide to say, yeah, well, we can make $800,000 off you, $80,000 off you, $40,000 off you, $50,000 off you, sixty. dollars like, I don't know what the ratio of how much they make off of me compared to how much that they pay me, but I know it's enough that it's just like... The only reason I don't feel offended is because I don't know the numbers. And if I knew the numbers, and if everybody knew the numbers, if everybody was educated at the level to be at least aware enough to know their true value, then it's like, it's crazy because the fact that I was never taught my value or the value of what anything means, because to give somebody water when they're not parched is just like, thank you. That's not what I fucking want. I fucking said I wanted a Coke. I wanted a this. I wanted a that. Why the fuck? Did you give me this? And then to give somebody water when they're extremely parched and they need it, it's just like... <laughs> so what, what am I? Am I the right thing? Are you the right thing? Are we in the right area? Is this the right time? Is this the right era? What is it? And am I doing it correctly enough for me? Or are you guys just overly correcting me? Because you're just trying to tell me I need to leave. Because in the places that I feel welcomed and supposed to be, like in the league that I just started to play in for soccer, it's nothing really too professional. But some dude asked me to be on his team. I'm just like, cool. He's like, it's just because of your bubbly energy. And I'm just like, I hear they say that, but I don't always say that to me. Like, bubbly! Nah, I just figured out how not to always be angry. I'm just passionate about keeping myself safe because little kid me couldn't do it. So adult me do. So if you guys don't like how I be, just tell me and I'll either agree to disagree or just tell you to fuck off. But politely, I don't really want to associate with you. So I'll just keep myself distant. So I would be obliged if you did the exact same to me. But if we have to eventually come to fisticuffs, well, so shall it be. We'll defend myself to the means that I need to. I would never... Stooped to levels 
unless you show me that I need. Because I need to protect myself. So if you're willing to kill me, then I guess I need to be willing to kill you too. I'm just telling you, I will walk away with boo-boos. Or neither of us walk away. Ooh, ooh. Either way, I'm just trying to play fairly, but everybody plays this game differently, and I already know that the rules change depending on location, 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 location. Top of monetization. How much money? How much attention? Like, you gotta be good or very bad. Either way, people gotta wanna view you. They either gotta love you or love to hate you. We just need to see these numbers and know we love you because of the views. And once you become irrelevant, who the fuck are you? You ain't got no power here. You ain't got no money here. Money talks and you ain't got no money. So start fucking walking. Give me your shoes. You don't, can't afford none of this. <laughs> so I just try to be the best version of me that I could possibly be. But it bothers me that I used to be freaking powered down by that stigma of, yeah, I live at home with my parents. You know why? It's freaking feasible. They're elderly. I help out the family, so it's not like I'm just mooching off without me. They, yeah, probably could manage if they wanted to, but how long would they? I don't know. Would their life decrease? Possibly. I could see this being... <laughs> People aren't always as fair as me, like they could get help, but how help is helpful? Who's help? Ooh, A through Z had something happen to his struggle. Mm. If you get what I said, then you would get what I'm referencing. I'm just saying all these things, and I'm just saying what I see. There's a scroll on there, so electric box in it should stop before it gets shocked. There's a lot of things I want to do on top of dying. Like, if dying doesn't happen first, then I guess I want to be a poet, a director, an actor, an actress. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, it'd be drag. Because I ain't got the parts for it. And I'm not going to identify as a female. I'm not paying for I am surgery. Fuck that. I've I worked too damn hard on my biceps to fucking throw out my dick for a fucking vagina. And I'm already pretty as a dude. Like, I've seen some transitions. I'm just like, uh, you, you just might have been born the wrong gender. Like, I, I just, if you didn't tell me this was a trans, and if they got their bottom done, I would have hit it. And you could have told me, and I would have just been like, well, fuck, now I fucked 41 women and one trans. Okay. Because I'm not going to, like, how am I going to always promote peace, love, education, and then be the most aggressive person that you are around in lonely times? So, like, I keep saying, if you could convince me, because first, I'm like, I want openness and I want honesty. So, if you're trans, I would hope that you would say that first in the conversation when we start talking. I hope that's presented somewhere. I hope, like, you tell me that you're trans. Like, when I talk to a mom, I hope she tells me she has kids and how many. Like, I don't care how old they are. I just want to know you have kids. Or if she's got, like, uh, some type of uh, easily catchable STAD or STI. Like, I don't want to know how many. I just want to know what the fuck it is. Like, I'm not trying to be nosy. I'm just trying to be aware of if I'm in danger and how much danger. Like, I want to know if you got a stalker and if they're, like, very, like, touchy and shit. Like, because I've, what I realize when you're interacting with people, and this is why I have to be open and honest about the fact that I live at home with my parents, because that means people want to go over to each other's house. And I ain't, I ain't really got a house, but at least I got a car to drive back and vroom, vroom. So it's not like we can't can't find a place to meet in the middle we could always go out somewhere in public at a park i do be working sadly i ain't be making the hours i ain't be making that moolah I ain't. i'm rich in energy i'm rich in thought i'm rich in poetry i'm rich in places where people don't always value it but like eventually so like i'm gonna be rich girl like i'll cash this check in like two years okay but like they need the money now and it's just like just i'll get you back i promise you i'll make money i make moolah it's just not enough right now my money coming it's in the mail it's just like i'm a snail mail it's like fucking turtle time it's not sea turtle sadly it's like ooh, the galapagos type motherfucker and it's like it's coming from my i don't fucking know i think it's coming from the depths of El hell or maybe from heaven or i don't know the fucking pluto it just it's coming i promise you it's just gonna be here i know it's coming like, for as many times as I've met death and this bitch ain't take me, like, my wealth's got to be coming before my death is. And if it doesn't, I guess, like, shit. It's coming, I promise! I promise.
<laughs> so I figure if I'm not going to be able to do one thing, I have one thing, I can at least be a decent person to be around. I can at least have my means of transportation or at least be able to get around. It's just when you lack in one area, you have to supplement in other areas. It's basically like losing a limb or uh, it's basically like not being born with sight or not being born with a limb. You learn to adapt with the things that you don't have because it's just like, I've never had to worry about it. It's not, I, I told you my body count of women, which I'm pretty sure it's either one or two. I'm at 40. It's either 41, 42, if not 40. I might be a couple off. I have to think about it. And I don't feel like we're out and off right now. And it's because of the fact of the matter is when you are pretty, when you are kind, when you are considerate, considerate, considerate consider it yes when you are patient when you are educated when you can drive because i will admit this car has helped me bang a handful of chicks mm -mm -mm. i couldn't even tell you like this whip i i don't think i could resell it i probably have to scrap it i don't know i definitely do need better stuff because but money buys everything but i figure it's like if we were back in the times where just entertainment was allowed to buy you whatever the fuck you wanted i guess bargaining ages i would fucking be filthy rich y'all don't think i'm not entertaining some of y'all think i should be in a mental asylum i agree too but at the same time i'm like wait a second do i molest people no do i rape people no do i kidnap people no do i stalk people no do i beat people or are we talking about physically or within competition it all depends but no i do not physically beat people i am just aggressive towards competitions but i will be apologetic and if the ref tells me to calm down okay ref i just want to play sorry got a little bit aggressive i'd be moving too fast i just let my arms fly i'm sorry ref i i calm it down i i love this sport more than i love wanting to win i want to play so do i beat people still no so what is wrong with me? The way that I display my energy, they just want me to be their enemy. I'm not going to be mad at you. I get it. You're writing something and you're just mad at me. Because like, you're, he's crazy, he's crazy, he's crazy, he's crazy, he's crazy. Tell us something we don't already know. Most of y'all have noticed already. I'm crazy, but like, there's crazy good, crazy bad, and there's bad. Everywhere, anywhere, and at least I am crazy good. What does this mean? I am defensive crazy also. Because I don't offensively attack people intentionally. And I say it like this because I will try to comment under people's things trying to be funny. But trying to be funny and being an asshole comes out the same certain times. And it's just like... Did it come out when I wanted to be? Or did I misrepresent? Did I do? I should have fucking lifted my sense. It's fine. Oh, my God. Can't even fucking use words correctly. I speak better than I type, or do I not? I don't know. I try to, but trying hard enough in the right rooms and the wrong rooms, some people just think I would be just best with a noose. That's all right. You are um, allowed to have your thoughts and opinions, as I too, but don't you dare force them on me because I ain't trying to force them on you. You can just continue to scroll through. I will always allow others to leave the room. You are going to allow me to, or... You're going to allow me to. There's no if ands, or buts about it. I am free, aren't I? Or am I never not to? Like, we're just born to be enslaved in every room that we are in. Like, I go where I can be free, speak as loud as I want to. There's nobody that I have to. I get a city, city ordinance. I am making noise complaint. Nobody around me. I promise if I do it in my room, probably get kicked out. Ooh, you need to pay for your own space. I have the money too but if i was born in the right time or maybe if people actually get into the right minds and start actually paying more attention to the <laughs> ones instead of assuming hmm i've seen you in so many things you gotta be good who are you truly don't really know but i love you so hmm, take out my money view merchandise Ooh, i just came through because that's all you <laughs> of course i'm gonna watch my favorite person's in it <gasps> Me? Oh, thank you. I would really spend the time, too. I would do meet and greets. I would play soccer with you. Honestly, I've always thought if I did things business-wise, I would make it goofy. I would make sure that y'all had the mental health paid for as well as the physical and being some things to do with the things with uh, things that we do as a group. Like, y'all ain't family to me. I'm going to just treat it like, I ain't going to tell you all this shit, but what's going on in your life? Like, HR done told me you had a kid. Ooh, what's the name? Oh, that's so cute. What's it like? You ain't know that yet? Well, uh, 
do you mind if I give y'all a blanket and a teddy bear? I truly care because I remember when people shared and how I felt about that. People have shared good and bad shit to me. So what do I want to give to people? A sense of hope. Knowing that others do care, ter- uh, do care to share, like no connections, really. Come on, we love to work together. To be able to get things done, like he's not just my boss. He's seen my children. He's seen my family. He's invited us to places, and we invite him, invite him out to places too. Like, how the fuck does he make time for us? It's because caring will always put in time. But if you don't care, pfft, I ain't got the time. I'm always running out of time. I'll come in late if I can make it early. I will fit you in even if I don't get sleep, even if I don't get break, even if I will break, I will make it in. Like, I will think of it. Just use the things that we have made in technology. I don't always have to be physically, but if I can, I will make my presence there. Just get your phone up video. I ah, see. You saved a seat for me in your hand. I can still view. I see you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry. I was more tied up than I thought I would be, but told you you would still see me. Do you not still representing? I will come through when I can, but right now I'm a little bit busy, but not too. I might live at home right now, but I won't always forever. Eventually I will own the home that I will. Well, I say I live at home with my parents, but a house isn't a home if you don't always feel like it's... A house isn't a home if you don't feel at home with it. And a home is where your heart is. My heart hasn't been found yet. I always find myself going out in places to just be, just to enjoy myself because, well, I keep these headphones on because it's always loud to me. There's always things that are being bothered, always people that are bothered. There needs to be more money coming in because... There's something wrong with their psyche. Like, I get that I'm crazy, but I'm at least good crazy. What about them? Do they need me? Or do I need them? Do I need you? Or do you need me? Do I need you? Or do we need us? That was just for shits and giggles. Um... It is what it is. I live at home, but they get just as much from me as I get from them. Nothing is free, but what's the price of it? I can leave and come whenever I want to. I pick up groceries and clean the house when they need it done. They don't ask me to. I just get sick of looking at the mess. Like I might be messy, but there's a difference between messy and dirty, and they're dirty. I'm messy. Yeah. <laughs>